my dear children happy diwali to all of you i think you are all of you are good health and vigor i am inspired by you to take the vibhavasi of the abdominal viscera today i shall discuss the viscera which is known as the liver so it is a massive organ and where it is situated it is situated you will see this is the quadrants of the abdomen in these quadrants of the abdomen you will see this this is the right hypochondriac region this one is the right hypochondriac region epigastrium you will see the yellow shiny color it represents the position of the liver so it lies below the diaphragm and it is easy to know uh, how you remember the things the liver the ward is five in number so it has got five surfaces five borders five bare areas of the liver and five peritoneal ligaments now the surfaces are the superior surface this is the superior surface of the liver in the examination we will show in this pattern not the uh, point like this you will say this is the superior surface of the liver this is the anterior surface of the liver this is the inferior surface or which is very important surface and this is known as the visceral surface of the liver which you will identify by the fossa for the gall bladder we see here the gall bladder the blue color is sorry the green color it is represented here so this is the inferior surface and this thing is the posterior surface where you will get the inferior vena cava now how this liver you will hold it in anatomical position you should make the roof for the inferior vena cava should be vertical so you make the roof for the inferior vena cava vertical and the direction of the inferior surface should be directed downward slightly backwards and upwards towards the left so this is the anatomical position of the liver now the five bare areas you will see that is you will see here the that is the triangular bare area and this triangular bare bare area is bounded the base is bounded by the roof for the inferior vena cava apex is formed by the meeting of the superior layer of the coronary ligament and the inferior layer of the coronary ligament and you will see the right triangular ligament so this is the bare area of the liver second bare area is the groove for the inferior vena cava here the inferior vena cava is present if you remove the inferior vena cava then you will get a groove and that is also the bare area of the liver the third bare area that is very important you will see that is situated at the junction of the posterior and the inferior surface and this bare area is known as the porta hepatis that means some structures comes out through the porta hepatis and some structure goes in what are the structure goes in that is the hepatic artery it goes in the portal vein it goes in and structure that coming out they are the two hepatic duct from the two lobes of the liver and also the lymphatics so this is the bare area third bare area the fourth bare area is that the fossa for the gall bladder if you remove the gall bladder from here you will see there is a bare area that is known as the fossa for the gall bladder 
and next you will see the triangular barrier area on the anterior surface between the diverging lip of the coronary ligament. So one diverges towards the left and another diverges towards the right. So in between that, the falciform ligament diverge on two sides and you will get the, uh, uh, that is the triangular bear area. So I have finished the five bear areas. Now what are the five lobes of the liver? You will see the right lobe is very massive than the left lobe. Five sixth part of the weight of the liver is formed by the right lobe and one sixth by the left lobe only. And these two lobes are separated by the falciform ligament which coming from the abdomen. So these are the two lobes on the posterior surface. You will see the, there is another lobe is present and that is the part of the right lobe in case of anatomical division. And this is the caudate lobe of the liver. And below the caudate lobe on the, uh, you see the left side of the gallbladder you will get another lobe that is the quadrilateral lobe and this quadrilateral lobe is known as the quadrant lobe of the liver. So you will get all these four lobes. Another lobe may be present but not always present that is projection from the liver. Another lobe is there and that projection is known as the Riddle's lobe. So this is how you can remember the liver, five bare areas, five surfaces, the, uh, you will see the five borders are also there and the borders are the posterior superior border, the posterior inferior border and the, you will get the inferior border which is very much sharp and prominent. This inferior border you can feel when the liver is enlarged. Normally in the adult we cannot feel the liver. Only in case of children below 2 years you can feel the liver. Because at that time the liver is used size than the abdominal cavity. So, when the liver is palpable, that means it is the disease state of the liver. Next thing, uh, the examiner may ask, show me the relation of the structure you will see on the inferior surface of the liver. So, you start it from the left lobe and then complete it from the right lobe. In the left lobe of the liver, you will see it is related to a structure which is known as the stomach. You will see the stomach is related with the left lobe and here there is an impression which is known as the gastric impression of the liver. Next, medial to the gastric impression there is an elevated structure. This is known as the tuber omentally related with the tuber mentally of the pancreas. Now this quadrant lobe is related to the pylorus of the stomach and also the first part of the duodenum. In the right lobe of the liver, in the upper part you will get the depressed area and this depressed area is related with the right kidney, anterior surface of the right kidney. And above it is related with the right suprarenal gland which encroaches the bare area of the liver. Below the kidney, this portion is related to the right colic flexure. You know, when the ascending colon um, becomes the transverse colon, there is a fracture that is the right colic flexure. 
Next is the what is the arterial supply of the liver? The liver is supplied by the hepatic artery proper, which is a branch of the ciliar trunk. And it is the 20% of the blood of the liver is supplied by the hepatic artery and 80% blood of the liver is supplied by the portal vein. In the liver, you will see it is 1.5 kg in weight and the diseases that will produce enlargement of the liver that is the chronic malaria. There is formation of the tumor within the liver which is known as hepatoma. The carcinoma of the liver or the malignancy of the liver. These are the main causes or increase the size of the liver. And most commonly nowadays it has been seen the fatty liver also produces enlargement. So this is in short the liver hypervasive. Thank you my dear children.